Hello, friends of Komodo Platform, friends of Pirate Chain, friends of Bitcoin, the Maxis, the Minis, the Centrists, the anti-Bitcoiners, the no-coiners. Is there a no-coiner watching? I'm me, Julia Hano. It's 25th of October, 2021. I'm here to share some price charts with you. It's a Monday. Monday means we can watch the Sunday candle closing of the weekly price chart. Whew. I'm going to share the screen. We're going to use the Get Orox terminal. We're going to use the Bitcoin price chart first. And we're going to look at the weekly candle closings. What are the weekly price chart? Bang. We're going to get rid of the drawings. Where are we? Wow, it's looking good on the weekly. Right up at the tops. Oh, I need to do a refresh, bear with me. That's right. <clears throat> In the meantime, you wanna check out, actually, let's not get too wild here. Come on, here we go. We got some gear, you can check in the description below. Komodo and related gears, pirates, bitcoins, uh, yeah, Varus, chips. We're gonna get some Collider, some Tokel, get some MCL in there. Let me know if there's anything else you want. Okay, now BTC, get rid of the eye candy. Where are you? You're in such a nice place, right up at the tops. Isn't that incredible? Looking good, Bitcoin on the weekly. We have this intermediate candle here is our October 18th week, the red one here. We're gonna jump right into it here. Zoom right into it, I should say. See that candle? Yeah, looks like it could be a reversal, but it could also just be pausing at these higher than previous high closing levels. Uh, like that, you know, pausing here, just retesting the previous highs just on a shorter term basis, like, oh, one candle up, one candle down. Next candle looks like it wants to go higher. So that's where we are on the candle closing basis. I mean, this is just the Monday of the 25th of October week. So just the beginning of the candle. And that's very nice looking on the weekly time frame. Looks like we have more room to grow. Although let's see what this week shapes up to be. It doesn't have to be just one week of a pause. It could be, could be a couple weeks of a pause. We'll see what happens, but already bullishly engulfing on today's candle. So maybe it looks like this week wants to be a bit stronger. We'll see. The start of the week sure is. Nice reversal action here. Uh, Nah. that's where we are doesn't so this would mean that we're playing possibly into a bigger wave of one structure when we bring out some geometry tools here we get the the, the channels and we get um you know other trends and supports and you can start pulling out fibonacci's too but what really is happening here is we have the price below the all-time high previously of April 14, even fighting with the 13 and 15 prices before it dumped on the 16. So on the daily price shot, price action level, we're we're fighting this. So this is um, that's where we now have the well. Now I'm going to put in drawings. So we have the potential to go either up or down seeing as how we're either going to break through this or we're going to reject it and it's going to make a lower high than this either that or it's going to come start testing this previous this new all-time high of 2020 or of 20th of october uh yeah so that's on the daily you know this is just a little bit of action i don't get the sense that this is a full retrace uh, of anything uh but i think it's just a retrace within a bigger wave sure and Maybe we start getting a bit of more sideways action. But anyway, so I'm going to pull that in now. Oops. Oh, yes. We already have a target here. 
So we confluence that previous uh, one to one here with this channel here. So that's a possibility here. And then looking actually ultimately to break above it because how many touches are you going to make on this channel? I don't think more than four if we're going to be going impulsive. If we're making five, then we might be breaking down below it this way. That's my guess. Either that or it just needs to stay within here for a little while. But one, two, three, four touches already if we're going to do it like that. Um, it looks like the 72,000 level here meets nicely with a continued up move by, this is, uh, you know, November, November 11, let's say. Um, so, yeah, well, there you have it. That's a possibility there with the BTC. Uh, again, the other possibility is we're fighting, we're fighting these resistance levels and we slip down further testing into like the 59, 58,000 level, maybe even 57 and a half, but you don't want to go below that. Otherwise you're really flirting with like 50,000, uh, 52,000. All right. And I, and again, and in that case, then you're breaking into this price structure here. So really you don't want to go lower than this here, this previous high here of about 52, 53,000. Uh, I feel, think that that's important as well. All right, so yeah, if you see it coming down, well, maybe it's just temporary and it is the big, you know, a smaller wave up down wave uh, of a bigger wave structure. And then we're going to get an intermediate pause here before we go higher. That's fine too. It doesn't have to pause, could break right through 72K. There's no reason why it has to be one to one. Like we're pulling, just a reminder, we're pulling that 72K from this low to high uh, and then internal extension here one-to-one -one. that that from the july low to the september high right uh one-to-one -one with that starting again around the uh, end of september so beginning of october um so yeah that could that could look something like like that and then we have another correction um of a bigger degree, not like this one here, but more like this one here. Okay, we'll see. I don't, but even then, I don't think it would stop here. I think we would, it wouldn't even be this big. It would probably be like this big again on its own level. And then we get our bigger move. I think that's when we can start going higher and then we can come back into the channel and who knows what happens, you know, with these linear channels on the logarithmic curve. Uh, okay. Um, okay, that's it for the BTC on the daily. I'm not going to go too far into it. We're going to go into four hour just to say, okay, we're above the Chimoku cloud there. Holding nice support. Let's just look back at it for fun. Oh, we lose that. Okay, we don't. I'm just, I'm not going to bother. We got lots of colors here. Hope you're enjoying the colors and the screen and all of that stuff. If you got any feedback, let me know. And here we go. Nice support here, BTC on the Ichimoku cloud. Cloud is your friend. Uh, either we're going to reject your top of the Bollinger Band, find support of the cloud around the 62K level, uh, or we're ready to break out of the band and test for higher levels. Also, I think there's a good opportunity here um, where, you know, it might just go try and go straight up and test the um, this uptrending resistance and then find more uh, resistance and, and come back down a bit. That, that's a possibility. Whatever the, the pathway is, I do see us getting up around here around like 8, 9, 10, 11 November. That could be reasonable consideration. Then again, um, that's just pure speculation. All right. Okay. So we're going to escape that. Dig out of that. Let's go to the daily on it though, just for fun, just to keep it compactor. Whoops, wrong move. Okay. Hey, friends of Komodo, you're next. KMB, BTC. Wow, it is very heavy it's just slumpy 
um, on the weekly. Could not get any significant rebound into this 4,000 Satoshi's level on this move up. So that's weak. The good thing you have going for it, okay. Nice weekly candle close, green color, uh, very thin and very um, neutral, okay. Higher, higher low than this low, which is a higher low than this low. So we have lower low, higher low, and higher low. Very nice. Um, if we wanna just look at it on a line chart, Okay, so looking good overall. However, like, because, you know, we we're down now, we got these triple lows here with uh, confirming with higher each time. Uh, and now we've got this pause candle here after this kind of reversal here. So we're really looking for this to hold and spell some more, uh, how do you say, buoyant, buoyant times for the KMD BTC pair. Um, <clears throat> what to say? I mean, it's been a long downtrend and now we're making a potential reversal. If not, then it's just an intermediate pause and we're going down to a thousand Satoshis. Okay, maybe KMD in many, in a, in a bit of time, is gonna, instead of playing in the thousands, it's gonna be playing in the hundreds. And you're gonna go from 200 Satoshis to 600 Satoshis, and that's gonna be your 300% move. Okay, don't quote me on this. Um, I'm being a bit facetious, but it feels like that sometimes. It's like, oops, coming, here comes some drawings. What are you doing to me, buddy? You went this way, oh, my, that's into the zero line. So remember, negative a thousand for KMD. Just kidding, though. Oops. Um, I want to point out. So weekly time frame. It's it's okay. All things considered, considering you came from so high up and now you're dumped so far down. On a weekly time frame, looks like you know we've got a lot of battle ahead. But um, if KMD is surviving all of this, then it's going to higher price levels, and. I think um, when we, yeah, when we look at it, like on the weekly level, potential reversing um, here. So what we have to, I have to say here. On the weekly time frame, it needs to get to this level here, if not even better, this level here. Okay. Um, otherwise, the next point is we dump over this uptrending support lines and we dump into towards the 1000 Satoshi's level because what's there, nothing. All right, so uh, otherwise we're up here and then down or hopefully better we're up here and then down. Um, speaking of up here and down, oh yes, that's right, up here and down. This is what the exciting part about this KMD price chart is. On the weekly time frame, the exciting thing is this up here and down. Why? Because of this red trend line. Okay. You see, <clears throat> what happened here is a long time ago, a trend line has been born and formed from this area here, this area here, and this area here. Okay. And that makes our red trend line. Well, interestingly, what has happened here, as you can see, is that the KMD price is finally broken out of this downtrend and now has retested it as support and we have moved away from it. Now, that, might not seem like a, anything much, but it's something. <laughs> it's something. It's not like we went that way. Fine. Okay. But we went up, we went, we bounced, and we're away from it. Um, now, again, this is logarithmic chart. So this is a line on a logarithmic chart. Maybe that doesn't make sense. But on this type of 
price action, it seems to work. And at least we can say potentially that this downtrending line has been completed. Uh, it has been crossed, has been retested. Now we're moving away from it on this time horizon. Okay, this time axis. You see that? All right, so there is some significance right there. And then what that's gonna bring is the next time is we need to do it here. Okay, we need to go above it and then down and maybe go sideways. And we gotta go here and above it and down sideways. Maybe that's what's gonna end up happening. I don't know how KMD is gonna be. If it's gonna be super you know, weak and accumulatory here. Um, that's fine and that's that's okay it could be even expected i mean look did not find ability to bounce back up after these highs lows couldn't even couldn't even retrace it from the 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 wick we didn't even get our 38.2 yet so i don't know i guess we gotta wait time which means camd is going to take time it looks like it's going to take time now that's on the weekly uh, on the daily. Oh, wait, sorry, on the weekly as well. I just want to show, you know, RSI. Okay, it's got room to grow. Um, kind of neutral on the, on the MACD, although, you know, it looks like it wants to break down to the negative side one more time before we get and that looks more on the daily as well. So we'll go to the daily segue that way. So yeah, um, on the daily, it, it's more forgiving. Um, so we'll see. And that's what these lines are for anyway, they're for the daily. So I'm gonna just make them for the daily. I'm gonna get into my settings. And I'm gonna go away from the hours and the minutes and in the weeks and the months. Okay. And then I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna do the same, oops, I did that already there. I'm gonna do it on this one. Get away from the minutes, the hours, the weeks, and the months, okay. And now when I go to the weekly time frame, it's not there, okay. Um, so yeah, but this is kind of rounding this way. So we'll see, uh, it's, it's not quite out of it yet on the weekly. Um, on the weekly, maybe it's like it's coming here and then it's just gonna go here before it starts going up. Or, I mean, it doesn't need to go down more. Doesn't really matter. This is the momentum um, and it's gonna show it more in the price than anything. So I think the price is saying that, yes, eventually we're going to, and the momentum as well. I mean, you, er, the energetically it's it's swinging. And so now is is big swings, you know. Um, that's the sense that I get. Okay, so that's a weekly. So I'm daily. Uh, we're back here. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of neutrality. So um, on the daily, what's going on? We got some higher lows. And so on the daily, oh yeah, I wanted to show something else on the weekly, but on the daily, it looks like you've got some potential here. Trying to hold this level. If we can do that, it's three reds in a row. Holding this this level, which as we know is the upper uh, band of the, of the kind of channel created by these highs and lows, it corresponds to these lows here on an uptrending basis. Okay, so that would be huge if we can find positivity on the KMD BTC from that. That's, that would be huge because also that could also bring us up to the upper end of the, I'm gonna get rid of this now. That was the, the downtrend from the four hour price chart. Um, sorry, the, uh, this was the uptrend from the four hour price chart. I was broken by this downtrend. Okay, so yeah, that would bring us above the 20 day moving average and towards the upper band. And then we could try and find the, you know, our higher move here. Um, yeah, looks good, I would say. Why not? Let's see how this goes on the daily. Beauty, okay, otherwise not beauty and we continue dump down. That's, time will tell, time will show us. 
It's the four hour saying. Four hours saying could be done too, especially if we're gonna follow a bit of a like higher lows on the RSI. Whoa, I don't even wanna begin to look at that. Yeah. Yep, positive momentum at some point. But anyway, uh, this is the four hour. We'll see. Uh, we'll see where it wants to go with this. Um, but again, this is an important reversal area. So we'd like to see this hold on the four hour. So keep your eyes on four hour price chart. If it starts going up and you start getting into the 1700, 1750, um, yeah, look, look for more. Uh, let's see though. Because important level. All right, just four hour. Oh, and back to the weekly. Um, no, that's it. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're done. So I wanted to just also go to the inverted scale and say, okay, I see this price chart and I'm looking at it. And I'm saying, hmm, there's a lot of these up, down, up, down, up, down. So getting smaller. Now we're having a, a lower high than this high, the lower up and, and are we even confirming this lower up here? Um, so <clears throat> in that sense, um, you know, something like this starts to come into the mind. I mean, of course, this is just massively purely speculation because are you really going to see a hundred thousand Satoshi KMD ever again? I don't. I, I don't know. That's beyond my powers of crystal ball balling. Um, but you know, our way out of that path here on a bigger scale, and then we get we get again that rebound. Remember, I was talking about. I'll invert it back again. So that was that was the rebound, right? Maybe it doesn't have to be exactly these heights or anything like that, but you know, we eventually get out of here and then we rebound. And this is like in 2022, you know, and we're still at uh, like 225, 200, 3,000 satoshis, whatever. If we're lucky, you know, we're making higher lows than these. Um, we'll see what this type of high would be, but we need to break out of this downtrend here and then find a pathway higher into this levels and then get above those levels and then try and fight these levels, see what happens. I mean, I don't know exactly what it, it's gonna look like, but I drew this from the opposite inverted scale here. I drew it like that and it's just what it ended up. I'm not saying this is what's gonna happen at all. I, I, I don't even know what probability it should take in terms of what would be the probability that this could happen. Um, so anyway, interesting though, when I look at it this way, looks like a nice huge accumulation. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, now I think I just need to move on now. I'm done with this for now. Um, if you're still with me, thanks for watching. Coming to you uh, with these weekly price chart. Uh, looks here okay and then yeah and you know komodo kmd we wonder what what the whole landscape is going to be like in the future you know all of this money and legitimizing and stuff like when i look at what happened to youtube and all these other things that used to be more free the whole internet itself is that how, how, do, how does how does the blockchain tech play into it is it the, the one that that frees us well, the Bitcoin is aimed at doing so on a massive scale. 
and um, you know, the, I mean, they're just monetarily, just economically. But right now, oh, things are in just such a mess. It's incredible, but this one one life is not enough. You're either catching it at the beginning of your life, at the end of your life, or right in the middle of your life, and you're not going to see all of it. You're not going to see this whole transition, possibly. I don't know if I'm going to see the whole transition. Transition been going on, you could argue, for decades, but this transition from the Bitcoin, pre-Bitcoin to post-Bitcoin is, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a long, it's a long transition, long transition. This chart takes us into 2026, 2027. But anyway, uh, I almost feel like I need to draw a different path here just so that I don't, so I don't take it the wrong way. But here, oh, that's even being generous. Okay, I'm done. I'm out of here. Um, friends, that's a small view. Here is, speaking of time, here's 2040. Okay, 2044, 2045. All right, so we're, where are we going to be in 2045? I don't know. Uh, well, well, I guess I'll bring that path back in. Um, let's see, what does that say? There you go. So whatever, are we going to, what, what's going to happen? What I have, who knows now this, now we missed out the pirate chain, um, because I just started rambling about KMD. So here's a KMD video for you all. Okay. And this one, it's a long time ahead. I hope to be with you all at that point too. Best of luck to you all. Love, peace, and happiness along the way. That's right. Let's do a quick view of the pirate chain price chart on the weekly. And this is either the time of reversal or we're going to the dump. This is either the time of reversal or we're going to the dump. But interestingly, how this box has served us well. Okay. Box has served us well. Oops. Um, and I think that, yeah, if we don't hold this box, the next support resistance is right here, which is around the 2200 Satoshi's level. Okay. And, and then at that point, you might as well just dump all the way down to the about 1500 Satoshi's. All right. And that would be in mid in November. Um, so it's either we're dumped down to 15 or this is our turnaround. I, uh, I don't see any other way. Is 2200 going to be the turnaround? Maybe on a week. I don't know. Doesn't make sense. Okay. Let's turn it around. Everybody start rowing. Okay, that's, that's Pirate Chain on a weekly. I'll come back with a Pirate Chain video and, in more depth. And we'll take a look at that. Okay. Goodbye until next time. Stay hydrated.